hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this looping animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin so if you're new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition. I'm going to call it as main animation width. I'm going to choose 1920 height. I'm going to choose 180 frame rate is 30 and duration is 10 seconds long and background color is black color. So simply hit OK and I think we should increase the duration. So I'll choose 20 seconds and I'll simply hit OK. Now go to choose grid and guide option and hit on title save action. Then choose your text tool and type one text. I'm going to type one text and for the font, I'm going to choose Poppins font. For the font uh, size, I'm going to choose 120 and we'll type one text. Let's call it as light. Let's select this text. Select this text, press Ctrl Alt Home to align that anchor point to the center and i'm going to increase the distance between this text so let's make it 300 or let's say 800 or i think even more that let's choose thousand now select this text press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically press s for scaling option and scale it at this position press p for position and let's move this over here like this now I'm going to select this ellipse and I'm going to create one ellipse and for the color I'm going to choose white color and I'm going to create one ellipse over here. Select this ellipse, press Ctrl Alt Home to align that anchor point to the center, press V for selection tool and we will adjust the position of this ellipse over here like this. Now select this shape layer, press P for position, select this position property, right click and choose separate dimensions like this. Now select the X position, create one keyframe, zoom in a little bit, go to around let's say one second and let's move this over here. Now go to around two second, let's move this over here on G at three seconds. I'm going to move on this I, go to four seconds and I'm going to move this on this L like this now create one position on Y go to around one second and again create another curve position on Y you go to the middle of them and let's move this over here like this now select those keyframe hit ctrl C sorry only select those keyframe which is on Y position hit ctrl C go over here hit ctrl V go over here hit ctrl v go over here and hit ctrl v so if you see this animation now we are getting something like this and after this point let's go to around six seconds and again create one position keyframe on x so and one keyframe on y and at six second i'll go to the zero second i'll select the first keyframe of x i'll hit ctrl c go to six second and simply hit ctrl v so we will get this kind of animation and in middle of that i want the y position of this one should be over here like this so as you can see we are getting something like this now select those y position and hit f9 go to the graph editor and select this middle one by holding shift move this handle over here sorry hit ctrl z select this by holding shift move this handle over here this handle over here this handle should be over here select this and move this handle over here so we will get this kind of bounciness select this keyframe i mean the graph by holding shift move this handle over here select this this handle should be over here select this move this handle over here again select this by holding shift move this handle over here this handle over here select this by holding shift move this handle over here select this move this handle over here select this one holding shift move this handle over here and then this handle over here select this move this handle over here and this handle over here go over here select this one 
by holding shift i'll move this handle over here this handle over here okay so now if i see this animation so i'll get this kind of bounciness Again, we will select those keyframes. We will go to the graph editor. We will zoom in. Let's select this. Let's move this over here. Make sure this corner should be proper like this and like this. Select this, move this one over here and this one over here. Select this, move this one over here and this one over here. Select this, move this one over here, this one over here. Select this and move this one over here. Like this. Okay. Now we will select this shape layer. We will hit Ctrl D to duplicate it. We will select this second one and we will press S for scaling option let's increase the scale of this and press t for opacity and let's make the opacity 20 let's see zoom in what we will get select this hit ctrl d select this one press s and let's increase this like this and if you hit play we will get this kind of stuff and select both of them press s create one keyframe over here let's go to around 20 seconds create another keyframe on the scale go to 10 seconds and let's in decrease the scale like this now select those keyframe and hit f9 okay let's go to around one second select both the keyframes and by holding alt i'll adjust it over here now alt click on the stopwatch and type loop out expression on them hit ctrl a hit ctrl c alt click on over here and simply paste that expression so we will get this flickering effect over here okay hit u as you can see my animation is end over here so simply hit n and now if you see this animation we will get something like this hit you okay so now let's move this over here now i'm going to select this shape layer i'll hit ctrl d again i'll change the color of this one to red over here press s and i'm going to increase the scale of this one like this much only go to the effect and presets panel and search for blur effect and choose gaussian blur and increase the Gaussian blur value like this and let's bring this down uh, let's make this yellow color and choose alpha man like this so if you see we are simply getting this kind of animation if you want then you can increase the size of it like then when you move this you will get this kind of lighting effect then i'm going to select this light hit ctrl d let's bring this downwards and enable this and there are two ways you can do either you can go to the character you will delete this fill and for the stroke you will choose this white color and stroke width you are going to choose too much less stroke width like this and you can simply select this press t for opacity and you can decrease the opacity like this and another thing you can do you can simply hit ctrl d let's delete this stroke and choose fill and you can only stay along with this light you can press t and let's make this 8 so yep this is how you can simply create this looping animation hit u right click new and create one adjustment layer go to the effect and presets panel and simply search for glow effect double click to apply 
increase the glow radius increase the glow threshold like this and glow radius so now if you see we will get this kind of lighting animations which is also in the form of loop you can choose 0.5 like this you can select this press t and you can decrease the opacity if you want like this so yep this is how you can create this kind of looping animation so that's it for the today's video we will see you in the next video so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates until then stay tuned